Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Uche, again. I'm not a barb, okay? I'm not, because all y'all hoes is crazy as shit, okay? Bad shit crazy, Chad. But shout out to Nicki. Shout out to Nicki Minaj, and I'm going to break it down. I recognize Nicki Minaj's energy from here, okay? This lady is fully loaded spiritually, okay? I hope you guys know that this lady is a performer, okay? And I'm not just talking about getting on the stage and, you know, shaking her ass and things like that. that that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. This is a performer. This is a light worker in performance, okay? If you listen to her songs, especially her latest album, is loaded with a lot of, if you know, you know, Beyonce too, Chad. It's not just these two women. It's not just these two performers. There are a few celebrities who speak the language of if you know, you know. And I hope these barbs, I hope these fan bases understand that Nicki Minaj is giving them a show. What you see is not really who she is. I hope y'all know that, Chad. She's giving you a show because that's what pays her bills, bitch. Underneath all that, this is Onika Taya Mirage. This is a human being occupying space and time. But I think Nicki Minaj has become so successful to understand that what she has now is a duty. It's a sense of duty. She is blessed and sent from heaven above into this world to do Nikki, something that only Onika can achieve. Onika only, okay? So you can shake your ass, dance to her, and all those things, right? You have to understand that at the end of the day, all glory goes to the creator that has sent her. Not her, okay? Because worshiping Nikki is idolatry. Nicki Minaj is spiritually loaded. I hope you guys know why she's a spiritual person. I can feel her energy from here. And I know this sounds so fucking cliche. This is what I'm talking about. Like in 2024, moving forward, child, if I don't recognize myself in you, bitch, you can kick rocks. Before I used to tolerate people, but at this point, ah, my dear, I won't even bother with you. Do you understand? This is a spiritual woman. A lot of her rants are on purpose. I hope you guys know that. She's giving you a show. Deep inside, this lady don't give a fuck. Deep inside, she don't. Because she's clocked out, sort of like me. But she's doing that because that's what pays her bills. And the reason why Nikki doesn't give a fuck is because she understands that no one can touch her. Okay? According to the Bible, the Bible said, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That is for your own protection. Okay? The anointed is born with an extra layer of protection that you don't have. So if you're going to be touching God's anointed, that karma comes right back to you. Okay? They have the thick skin, the thick spirit to be able to withstand what you're giving them, but you don't have it because you're not a chosen one. This extra layer of protection is in relation to this world, okay? The kind of world that we live in and the nature of the work that needs to be done in this world. Almost like God understands that the prophets are going to be going through a whole lot of shit, okay? They will have all kinds of attacks from left, right, center, okay? Like, Nikki has gone through a lot of shit. So if you're coming for someone who is ordained by God, God, God itself, okay? You might want to be careful. I Personally, I, I, I would recommend you fuck off, okay? Because that karma be on fleek. I'm actually quite impressed that she actually talks about these things. You know, she's gotten a lot more vulnerable lately. Nikki pisses me off sometimes, to be honest with you. She's gotten a lot more vulnerable, especially on her, on her interview. Before, she used to be batshit crazy way in the past. The narcissism was on fleek, but now I think she's mellowed down. She's still a messy-ass person. Don't get me wrong, chair. That's another conversation. But I've noticed that she's had moments of vulnerability where she's speaking truth to power shout out to her and this is nothing but growth this is growth i'm not the biggest fan of her as a person because nikki is a messy ass person uh, not just me keep it real she's very fucking messy and a lot of her fans are also messy but i also give her grace because i understand if she talks about that in her songs i understand she has to do what she had to do it's not easy being a nikki minaj it's not easy migrating from trinidad a lot of people from the caribbeans and also nigeria and you know some of the second and third world countries who migrate to america they're not migrating because they have things going on in their lives back home okay they're migrating because they, they are in search of greener pastures so she probably came from nothing and then she migrated to new york of all places queens this is queens of Bro it Chad, don't matter queens of brooklyn chad new york is a hot mess so growing up in that culture is it has to be a lot for someone like her immigrant family and then her father i think she said was a abusive you know what i'm saying like all kinds of shit she had to deal with and then being a rapper a woman in a male dominant industry and also a lot of the doors that were closed on her you know like she believed in herself for so long but so many people did not believe in her she had to grow the thick skin to be able to do what she's doing okay to be able to be where she's at 
But she believed in herself. She believed in herself in a word where people told her no. So she had to give them what she had to give them. So I give her some grace for her messiness. Still does not get the fact that she's problematic as shit. But I see the growth. I see the spiritual growth. And I feel like at this point, I think Nikki has tapped into somewhere in her life where she understands that all of this shit is irrelevant. It's like a movie to her. A dream come true. And this is where I'm at right now. And I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity. I don't make the kind of money that she makes. But part of why I'm doing this video is to explain to you that you don't need to be a celebrity. You don't need millions to feel that completion. Okay? When you tap into something, something within yourself, you understand that you are the fucking gift. You don't need all of this shit. Everything else is just jada. You know, just to add on top of this, I didn't. What truly matters is that you embody what God has brought you to this world to do. And I think that's what Nicki Minaj is doing. Not just her, of course, but I'm also just fo focusing on her right now. And I hope her fans actually take away from this. I understand that this woman is a performer. A lot of this shit is theatrics. She's not really this bad bitch and whatever the fuck she shows you. Yeah. I'm sure this woman underneath all of that is a very humble person. I'm sure that she's someone who's healing. I'm, so, I'm sure she's someone who is actually on a spiritual journey on her own. I hope these fans are paying attention to her. So when you shake your ass, and act like you're a bad bitch, yeah. I hope you understand that your queen is a performer. Ah, voila.